on this edition of Old School Cool, Remembering Beautiful Joe. It had a lot of first-party hits, but as is the case with a lot of Nintendo hardware, the GameCube received little help from third parties. Capcom's Beautiful Joe proved to be a major exception to that rule. The game is impossible to sum up with one adjective, but there are plenty of accurate superlatives. Fast, fun, funny, funky, kinetic, charismatic, flamboyant, and perhaps most importantly, wholly unique. The game stars Joe, a normal guy on a normal movie date with his normal girlfriend. Things go sideways when the movie's monster reaches out of the screen and kidnaps Joe's girlfriend. The two aren't separated for long though, as Joe is also taken into this magical movie realm. There he transforms into beautiful Joe, a superhero with more swagger than, well, just about any other superhero. Gamers are then treated to an eight-hour side-scrolling beat-em-up rescue mission. Keeping with the cinematic theme, Joe is aided by special VFX powers, including slow-mo and fast-forward. These powers aid in combat and puzzle-solving and are much needed as the game is actually very difficult. Beautiful Joe was a critical darling. It received a sequel and a few handheld spin-offs. But we haven't seen Joe in a new game since a cameo in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in 2011. 